All right. This camera positioned where I want it. <clears throat> All right, gonna do a quick rundown with black thread. Size 10, dry fly hook. We're gonna be rocking with some black dubbing for the head, but most our body is going to be made with black and yellow Chanel. Don't really use Chanel that much, but this is one of the rear patterns I like to use. <clears throat> also got black hackle from our saddle hackle here we're gonna rock with. Our wings we're gonna use. You can do different stuff with your wings. You can also use grizzly hackle and stuff if you want. But uh, I always harp on people to save their tips from their hackle feathers. And that's what I always do. So I'm reaching my special box here. Grab a couple tips from my hackle feathers. We're gonna use those for our wings off this body. Okay, let's go ahead and put our dry fly hook on, size 10. I like to put it up a little bit on this one. Go ahead and uh, start working yourself a base on here. If you're watching, go ahead and write down in the comments there where you're uh, fishing from, where you're at. I don't know if the comments work when it's live. Haven't been able to figure that out. I hope it does. But uh, hopefully I know better soon. If it does work, why don't one of y'all Give me a comment in there, I'd appreciate that. Where you're from, what you fish for. What your uh, favorite pattern is, all that good stuff. Make sure you snip off your little tag in, then tie that down. Now I'm not overly worried about my base on this one. Um, I got some room to make up with my dubbing, so I don't really worry about it that much, but I like to bring this down, maybe a quarter of the way down the hook. Maybe just a hair more. Bring it back up. Now. This is where it starts to get kind of important. But first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna bust out, uh, we'll start with our black since we got yellow wings. We'll start with our black first. Bust out your black Chanel. Mine's a little dirty here, but I'll clean it up. Bust out your black Chanel. Always uh, rip down your tip to start with. Get yourself a little piece to tie in first. Go ahead and loop it on there. Start working it on down. Hold back on your vice like so. <clears throat> Go ahead and get your yellow out. Do the same exact thing with your yellow. Pull it out. Make sure you uh, strip down that tip of that to start with. Get some of that little fuzzies off of there. So you have a nice piece of string to tie down like so. See how that tip kind of comes off of there. Then you'll have something to tie down nice. So then you bring this thing in here. Wrap it on in there, start tying that one in as well. All right. Now what I really do here is I start to really build up my my body with the thread. That way the Chanel wraps on there nice and evenly and gives that body a, big, a bigger look. So I'll start building up around the thorax way more. Just load it with, uh, with thread in here. Now this part gets a little redundant, but it actually will make it easier to give you that nice big bumblebee pattern, that nice big, big fat belly they have. 
just load that thread in there. A lot of people won't do this. They'll say, oh, you know, it'll make your fly sink, but ah, I don't think so. I think once you throw it on in there a few times, if you're not getting it, it's probably you need to work on your casting or go to a different hole. Well, don't hook it up like that. Just load it on in there. All right. Now, as you can see in there, it's starting to get bigger up towards the top of this hook. So, I want to build that up even more. But I want it to be a nice, even taper as I go down. Some people will throw in like a, a, a black tail on some of these. Because I guess their bumblebees have black tails where they're at. Where I'm at, they don't, don't really see that. You know, they don't really have their stinger hanging out. It's kind of stuck inside of them. But I've seen some pictures of them, these black tails. I don't know if it's a stinger or if it's like a, or what it is, but it's different than the bumblebees I have where I'm at. So that's why I don't tie in that big stinger look. So once you get that nice little taper like that, there's two ways you can bring this uh, Chanel up to the top. Some people use them both, will do them single. Some people will do them both at the same time. That's kind of what I like to do. That way I know it's going to look good as I go. So as you watch, I'll just take both these pieces of Chanel at the same time and just start wrapping. And sometimes it just don't work like you want it to. But see how I pull this forward to get to go up that hook? Wrap it on in there. Try not to get it too tangled up like I am right now. Then you can pinch it and pull it back. Pinch it, pull it back. So you get another wrap in there. And you gotta make sure you keep these things side by side. So you don't get them overlapped. What you, oh, I dropped my Chanel down there. That's why it's all tangled. Okay, untangle this, bam. And then what I do is I pinch, pull it backwards. Pinch it, pull it backwards some. And it will tighten all that stuff in there really nice. And once I get in here, pinch it, pull it backwards one more time. And I like that right there. So that's about where I want to tie it off. And bring up, come over, start tying that Chanel in. Some people will strip it right here so they tie more string down, but I'm not overly worried about that. I think the hackle covers it well. Come back up over the top, kind of pull that tight. Snip this out your way. Front. What you'll notice, it kind of looks kind of scraggly, but we'll fix that all up in the end and it'll really clean it up and make it look a lot better. But really tie that in right there real good. Okay. We'll be able to clean all these lines up a little bit better once I finish the fly and unhook it from the vise. So next thing you gotta do is you gotta get yourself a piece of hackle. Get your black hackle out. Pick a piece that's not too thin. You want to have some pretty decent thickness so it sticks out quite a ways. I generally don't get a real long one. I'll grab one of the sh kind of shorter ones, but if you look, it, does, it will stick off there quite a bit when it goes around. Always trim it up back some, pull it back so you're not tying down feathers to stick out. What I mean by that is your stem on your spine, sorry, the spine on there. You can see how that's uh, 
strip back with these feathers I pulled off it gives you this easier spot to tie down. I don't want it to hang too long, so I always trim it down. Maybe, I don't know, eighth of an inch or three sixteenth, something like that. Get it in there. Tie in your hackle. Okay. Now, you can start to see those yellow and black lines in there pretty decently, but we'll fix that. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm gonna take in some dubbing, and a lot of people do this different ways. I like to throw in a, a, a little bit of a flash with it on these for some reason. So I'll get my little Tron dubbing sometimes, have a little bit of saliva to that, and then it'll add that little Tron, that little flash, I think it gives it a little something. Maybe I'm just, I don't know, imagining things, but I think it does. I'll bring it back up towards the top. And I'm not worried about how thick I make this because I'm going to try to even it up with the body up here. I want it to be almost the same thickness as where I left off the body meeting the thorax. That's kind of close, so I'll just stop it right there. Whichever way I wrapped my thread, remember if I went this way, that's the same way you're going to wrap your hackle. If you wrapped it this way towards you on the top, then you're going to wrap your hackle that way. Don't do it opposite directions. That will only uh, mess up your your uh, hackle. It'll make, it come, make your fly want to come undone. So go the same direction you wrapped. Over the top. I probably could have gone a little thinner of a hackle, but I'm all right with it being long on this. So I really tie it in there. I like to have a lot of hackle. Get as many wraps as I can, honestly. Some people be like, oh, you only need three, you only need four. I don't know, but I'm going to pound in as much as I can in here. I think I got like five wraps there. That's pretty decent. Come back over, I'm going to tie that in. Got that tied in. We got some scrag or felt feather sticking out front. I don't really like. Maybe I'll just go back and trim those. Tie that in real good. If you notice, a lot of times I drop my bobbin and I just grab the thread and do it with my th do it with the thread, but. A lot of people are like, want you to hold on to the bob in a certain way, and I think just get it done however you can. Okay. I just said I didn't really like these scragglers, so I'm going to snip some of them out of there. Best I can. All right. Now that we're there, oh, you know what I forgot to put in? Got to put in my yellow wings. What a silly. Okay, since I did that, we're gonna unwrap. I hate doing this. What a, what a silly. Okay, so let's unwrap that hackle. I can fix that and still use it. Even before I should put any dubbing on, I should have done this, but we'll make it work. Take your little leftover wing you have from a, a yellow piece of hackle used on something else. Strip back the stem. Throw it in on one side. Bam. Take another one. Trim back a little bit. Throw it on in on the other side. Simple fix is that. Oh, that one's starting to come out though. I don't like that. Simple fix is that. Bam. 
things are back on. Okay, now let's work this hackle back on. Tie much of this on as I can. All right, save. Just go ahead and tie it in. Well, there you go. If you guys can comment, I can't figure out if the comments are working or not. Say a comment down there. Let me know it's working. And if it does, put where you fish from, where what your hometown river is, hometown lake, where your hometown water is. Get that all tied in. Now, come back in with some more black dubbing. I like to get my dubbing pretty thin. You can see how that just kind of worked up so the body gets big and then it tapers back down towards the tip. And that's kind of the look you're going for. And I don't want too much flash in there. So if you put your Tron dubbing in there and there's like a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of flash, you might want to consider pulling some of it out, but that's kind of how I like it. <clears throat> so we're gonna go like that. A lot of people use their whip finish. I don't have my whip finish. And uh, so I'm just gonna tie a simple knot. Bring it down. Here's a couple times. Bam, bam. Get your hardener out. Make sure you hit it with your hardener so it doesn't come undone when you're out there. Then you want to pull this thing back and you want to look at the tail. See how that tail looks like all nasty? You just kind of peel some of it off and push it back up into the body. Pull the wing over a little bit. Pull it down. Just kind of work those fibers. You can even, if you have your wax, get your wax out. Kind of wax, wax those things in a little bit. You know, but that's the look you're going for with that, uh, that bumblebee there. So it shows all that yellow black contrast there. You can even go different color wings if you want, but, uh, yeah, that's how they look, you know, or, uh, keep working those fibers. And, yep. There's the bumblebee. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Catch me later. Get out there and get after them.